Hello everyone, this is DWTV2010 and here is my Fallout New Vegas character creation guide. Hopefully I can bring you some opinions and tips that will make your journey through the wasteland a little bit easier. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is that you're in a bed and you're just kind of there. And this is the part where you get to name your character and you get to um, change how your character looks. So I'm not going to really cover that because that's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the next part. Okay, and now that that's done, um, you, need, you need to make your way over to the Vidomatic Vigor Tester, which is essentially like the special book when you're a baby in Fallout 3. Um, so it's a pretty cool looking machine, and you start out with the, and these are your seven um, special stats, Strength, Perception, Endurance, Charisma, Intelligence, agility, and luck. And if you notice, next to all the numbers, you see a little, like, a description of what it would be like. Like, some of them are pretty funny. Like, like strength, if your strength is a 10, let's say, it says Hercules' bigger cousin. <laughs> Just kind of, that's pretty funny, I guess. Um, so now, what I think. Um, for strength, I suggest 5 or a 6. Just because um, it's not incredibly necessary. Especially if you get the perk um, weapon handling, which lowers your strength requirement for certain guns by two um, strength levels. Um, per okay, perception, I stick with a five because I'll show you later why I stick with a five, actually. Um, we'll just go on. Uh, endurance, I, it's pretty self explanatory. It gives you better health, so I go with a six. Um, charisma, stick with a three. It's not necessary. Um, and when you look in the corner, you see companion nerve. That's how, that's how fearlessly your companions fight for you, and that isn't all that great. And it's not really worth putting in more points into, so I just leave it at a three. Okay, intelligence. I go with a seven or eight because it includes your science repair, medicine, and skill points. And the more skill points you can add, the better. So I go with a seven or an eight, and that's usually what works. Um, okay, agility. With his basic build, 7 works perfect. And for luck, luck has a bigger role in this game than in Fallout 3 because also, along with adding more skill points and critical hits and enemy mishaps, and when you're gambling, you have more of a chance of being successful when you have a higher luck, which nets you more caps, which makes it more helpful. And so, to review, 5 strength, 5 perception, 6 endurance, uh, 3 charisma, 7 intelligence, 7 agility, and 7 luck. You could also um, add one luck, one to intelligence and take one away from luck, and it'll still be okay. And like I said earlier, if you want to make a more of a melee type build or an unarmed type build, you might want to add some, um, may take one away from agility, one away from luck, and add two to strength. So that's always an option, but this is personally what I like to start out with, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the next thing Doc Mitchell's going to do is he's going to take you into the next room and ask you some questions. And it does not matter what you answer, so I'm just going to skip through this part. Okay, and we're back. Um, see, it's already tagged three skills for you, but you can just untag them, so that's why I said it doesn't really matter what you answer. Um, okay, so the first thing you need to do is tag a primary skill. And a primary skill is one that I use for like attacking like explosives energy weapons guns stuff like that and i personally recommend either choosing guns or energy weapons and energy weapons isn't a bad choice unlike fallout 3 because um, energy weapons are actually somewhat prominent in the beginning of the game they're a lot easier to find than in fallout 3 so energy weapons is not a bad idea but guns is probably your overall best bet because it this cover this category covers pretty much every gun that uses conventional ammo and so I'm going to choose guns for the purpose of this. Um, second thing you need to do is choose repair. Repair is probably one of the things you have to tag because there's a fantastic perk called jury rigging. You have to have 90 repair to get it and it allows you to repair any weapon with a similar weapon. And the third thing I'm going to choose is speech because speech is needed right away unlike um, lockpick. So speech is probably going to help you out in the beginning a lot more than lockpick. But lockpick is not a bad idea. Okay, um, one more thing I have to talk about, and these are traits. Traits are perks that you can choose at the beginning of the game. Each one of them has a negative side effect, and you can choose up to two, or you don't have to choose any at all. 
Um, that's really up to you to decide, but I'm, I have two personal preferences. And so the perks, the traits are built to destroy, fast shot, um, four eyes, good natured, heavy handed, kamikaze, loose cannon, fr small frame, trigger discipline, and wild wasteland. Wild wasteland, first of all, um, it just makes random crazy stuff happen throughout the, way the wasteland. And sometimes, like, special events happen up where, like, you'll find Indiana Jones, his skeleton inside of a refrigerator when he survives the nuclear explosion from um, hiding in the refrigerator so you find his body. But the serious thing about that is that you can also, that's the only way you can find the alien blaster. Okay, built to destroy. Um, you have a higher chance to critically hit, but your weapons decay faster. And if, But if you have the companion Raul Tejada... Um, that cancels the negative effect of this perk, and that might help a lot. But remember, you can only have one humanoid companion at a time, so you might want to think about that before you decide to get this perk. Fast shot is stupid. It's just stupid because it just makes you waste more ammo for the so you can shoot faster. But you're less accurate, so it's just a waste of time. Four eyes is um you gain perception if you have glasses on, but you lose one perception if you don't. So just wear glasses because um, if you just choose glasses to put on, then you can get free perception. So you, why wouldn't you do that? Okay, good natured. Um, you gain plus five to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech. But you have minus five to energy weapons, explosives, guns, melee weapons, and unarmed. So I, I decided, I think you should choose this if you're not going for melee weapon or unarmed build. Because explosives aren't that great, and since if you followed my thing, you either chose energy weapons or guns, and since that makes the tax deal pretty much just like plus 10 instead of plus 15, but you gain plus 5 to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech, which is, I think, a fair trade-off. So, I like this perk. I usually choose it with four eyes, um, but that's, once again, that's really up to you, and so we'll go on to the next one. Heavy-handed, only choose if you're doing an unarmed build, because you do more damage with each punch, but you do less critical damage. But, so if you're doing an unarmed build, you might want to think about that. Um, Kamikaze is risky, because you get plus 10 action points, but you have two, minus 2 damage threshold. So you take more damage at the risk of um, doing more damage. Um, loose cannon is stupid, you just throw stuff farther and faster. Um, Small frame, you gain plus one agility, but you get crippled a lot easier. Oh, your limbs get crippled a lot easier, so you might want to think about that. Uh, trigger discipline, you shoot slower, but you're more accurate, which is better for the wasteland, I guess, because you don't want to waste ammo. So I'm going to choose good nature, though. And that's it. Uh, if you want to look at the second part of my guide, it'll give you some tips on what to do after you create your character and some helpful locations so you can get good weapons. So thank you, and I will talk to you guys later.